Hey Park Plazians, my name is Dennis Jager. I am a fellow Park Plazian from many years ago. I am now a minister at the Impact Houston Church of Christ where I've uh, been working full time for 15 years now. And uh, I've just been on the receiving end of, of blessings from Park Plaza for so, so many years. I'm here in Houston because of you. Uh, and uh, it, it just, um, it's amazing the relationship that I continue to have with you and people at Park Plaza. And I uh, just want to say thank you for all of those things. But, but above that, I want to say thank you for the way that you have responded uh, after Harvey. It's just, um, it's just so overwhelming what you have done for us and the commitment that you've made and uh, the, the money that you've sent, the supplies that you've sent the people who you've sent uh, when when the group showed up it just it, it lifted my spirits and encouraged me so so much and encouraged so many others also uh, you got here unloaded the truck and immediately you're going to the park to play with kids uh, April I didn't know you could drive a bus you're in trouble now every time you come down here because now I know you can drive a bus so you got to keep on coming and you got to drive a bus for us um, but uh, you're just you're you're helping so many people, so many people. I, I wanted to tell you about about three people in particular who we've been able to help because of your your donations. Um, one, her name is Janice, and she's one of our bus drivers. Uh, many of your kids have probably ridden on a bus with her during the summer. Uh, Janice is a 19-year breast cancer survivor, and found out about a. A uh, year and a half ago that she had ovarian cancer and it was uh, had progressed a lot and she she's had surgery she's done chemo and things were looking up and she's doing chemo again and life's just been been one storm after another for her and uh, the next storm that came was was Harvey she's about to have to start chemo again and her apartment flooded her car flooded and she didn't know what she was going to do, but because you uh, you helped us out, we were able to help her with a, with a car payment so she can get get to work and other places. Uh, she's in an apartment. She's got furniture. Um, wonderful, wonderful story. Uh, there's another Janice. This is uh, a Janice who's a, a new mother. Um, we we met her just kind of through the the grapevine. We'd helped someone else who was near her who was part of our church, and she. Uh, she found out that we'd helped somebody else and so she calls and she's a she's a brand new mother she had to uh, wade away from her apartment with her baby and nothing else and uh, she ended up staying it's kind of a neat story she's staying with this uh, woman who she had met one time just a week before and this lady took her into her house and uh, her and her, her new baby and we were able to get her a bunch of baby supplies um, uh, pack and play and and a, a new car seat and, and all sorts of other things and help help them in the apartment that, that they're in um, so just really neat that we've been able to, to help that family it's going to be a really good relationship with them um, and then there's uh, there's one other woman I wanted to tell you about her name is Barbara Barbara's in her 60s she uh, her house is flooded before and uh, about well, back in May, her, her husband passed away suddenly, and so she's been by herself, and uh, then about two months before the storm, she was in a car wreck, ended up having uh, emergency back surgery, otherwise she would have been, been paralyzed, and uh, then the storm hit uh, right, right, after that, uh, right after that back surgery, so it's been almost two months now since since her back surgery but um she uh man she she has she she's on a fixed income uh just a few hundred dollars a month and uh no flood insurance fema wasn't going to help her um and uh we we met her because we'd uh, gutted out five other houses along her street and she saw that we were doing that and called us and so we were able to go over and do her house also, and now because of donations that you've given, we're going to be able to 
uh, put up new insulation and sheetrock and flooring and help her out with some appliances and, and a bed and, and some other things like that. So uh, you're just, you're making a big, big difference. Big difference. Uh, and what I've seen, you know, the storm, it was, it was, it was hard. And it's going to continue to be hard for a lot of people. Um, but against this very dark backdrop of the storm, God has just been shining through like crazy. Just like crazy, so brightly. And uh, you're a part of that. Thank you so much for being a light for our God. Thank you so much for your generosity. Thank you so much for bringing Him glory and honor and all that you do. Thank you.